Hello YouTube, it is Everything you Pan here, and in this video we are doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows Longhorn Build 4081 in VirtualBox. Uh, this is a build in the Milestone 7 series part of the Windows Longhorn Beta, um, compiled here on May 4th, 2004, um, which that BIOS state will come in handy later on in this video. Um, not very many features, uh, really any features released in this build of Longhorn. There's a lot of these that will be coming up in between that really don't uh, have new features or really look any different. Uh, but without further ado, we'll go ahead and just get right into the tutorial. Um, links will be in the description here for um, VirtualBox. You'll see the latest version at the time of this video is 7.0.2. And then... Um, you can download it for your specified OS here. Um, also, the ISO will be linked in the description from the compilation uploaded by Phantom Ocean 3 on the archive website. Um, you can find it in the ISO image list here. And you can see it's right here, Windows Longhorn Build 4081. And just download it there. And then you'll also need the MS-DOS 6.22 ISO to change the bio state, which will also be in the description uh, from the mega link that I have for it. Um, so that will be all you will need for the tutorial uh, here for installing this actual operating system. And so once you have all those, you want to make sure you have VirtualBox open. We're going to create a new virtual machine. I'm just going to call this Windows Longhorn Build 4081. Make sure you have the version selected as Windows XP 32-bit. Um, we're going to wait to insert the ISO image. Um, I think even if you do insert it, I do have it in my recent list here. It doesn't even have it uh, recognized. So um, you can actually insert it if you want right here. Just make sure the version's at Windows XP 32-bit and hit next. Uh, you can leave it at 192 megabytes of RAM if you want. I'm going to actually put it up just a little bit. Um, I'm going to put it up at gig and hit next. We're going to do 10 gigs and hit next and then hit finish and then you should be good there so um the actual thing i wanted to show about that is that it won't do the uh unattended installation if we insert that in but we do need to have the ms dos 6.22 iso inserted so just make sure you go to where that's saved um wherever you have it saved and insert the ms2 or ms dos 6.22 iso um, and then hit ok confirm that in there and we'll go ahead and start the machine and it'll go ahead and prepare the startup here. And here it is. Starting up the machine, we'll start up into MS-DOS. And then once it loads up here to change the date, just type date. And then the date will change it to a 05-04-2004. So May 5th or May 4th, 2004. And you can confirm uh, that by hitting enter. And if you type date, it should have the current date as Tuesday, May 4th, 2004. Just hit enter to confirm it. Now we can put the ISO in there. So right click on the disk and choose a disk file and then find where the Longhorn uh, ISO that you have for 4081 is in, uh, located. Go ahead and insert that. Go up to machine and do a reset and it will go ahead and reset the machine. It'll Go ahead and start loading into the setup here. You'll see the boot screen here. That's classic on a lot of the later builds of Windows Longhorn, uh, the later builds of the preset of Windows Longhorn um, with the orange bar there. And then once that loads through, it will get us into the first part of the setup or really the only part of the setup where we actually do really any control. So we'll come up to the welcome to Windows setup here. So on this, just go ahead and hit continue. It's gonna ask for the product key, um, similar to other versions of Longhorn. Um, type that on screen here. And then if you need to copy this through here, um, you can certainly go ahead and pause it, get this if you need. Um, product keys are all over the internet. There's, uh, if you go to the, there's a website called the collectionbook.info. Um, it has all the listed builds on there with uh, product keys. Some of them don't have product keys included. So you, you know, if there's some versions of Longhorn that says no product key, but it asks for one, just go to a build that's near it that has a list of product key and it will, um, it'll be right there. But that's a website you can use as reference there for product keys on that as well. So if we hit okay, it'll continue through the setup. So we'll just go ahead and accept the license agreement and hit continue and then we're going to go ahead and choose our installation location. So we'll click here, 
should be this unallocated uh, space, however much you have dedicated to the hard drive. Go ahead and hit continue. And then you can rename the computer if you wish. I'm just going to call mine Longhorn uh, 4081. You can leave the default there as you wish if you need, and then just hit continue. And it will go ahead and um, go forth with the first part of the setup here. So it's going to collect information, do the install, uh, copy over the files, and there'll be a few reboots or I think a couple reboots here that it does throughout the setup that you'll see here. So um, just let it run through and do its thing here on this uh, part, and then eventually it should come up with a message to have us reboot. So I will uh, let this run through, and I'll come back to you guys once we're at the uh, restart point here. And I was not even paying attention. I just paused it, while, and then the screen came right up. Um, so we should be good to reboot. Just hit finish. It'll reboot the machine. Do not press any key to boot from the CD, or you'll go in a loop. It's a constant reminder I have on all. Um, any of my tutorials that have that involved and then it will continue through the setup you will see uh, at times that a command prompt window will come up a lot um, you know there's different times throughout this part of the setup that that will happen this part will take some time to complete so just kind of let it sit and do its thing and then eventually I think it just goes straight to the desktop if I'm not mistaken so um, just go ahead and let it do its thing here um, through the setup and I'll come to you guys once it continues through this and gets through uh, this part of the setup here okay and eventually once it gets through everything you see it will uh, come up uh, and have this blank or the blank screen here and you can see on the bottom right that it has the windows code name longhorn and build 4081 and then it will go ahead and do the reboot again do not press any key to boot from the cd and then it will go ahead and boot through here And then once that comes up, it looks like it will go ahead and log us in to the operating system here. So um, by default here, uh, it does have it set to 32-bit color quality. You can up the resolution if you want as well. Um, but there you are. Uh, the operating system is fully installed and we have gone ahead and completed it here. As for guest editions, um, you can test it out if you want. Um, there are some you know, versions of beta, uh, such as Whistler and Longhorn, that have had issues with installing guest editions in the past, um, going to like a blank screen after rebooting and everything. So you can try it if you wish, um, but uh, sound is not working. You know, you won't be able to have sound uh, as there's no drivers for that, but uh, you do have 32 bit color and can still use the operating system to test out the features and everything. So, with that being said, that is the video tutorial on how to install Windows Longhorn Build 4081. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video or found it helpful at all, you can leave a like down below. Um, if you have any ideas for any future videos, um, leave a comment down below there for any. Uh, recommendations or uh, requests that you'd have for tutorials and if you are not yet subscribed to the channel you can hit the subscribe button down below and if you hit the post notification bell you will be uploaded um, or updated on when I upload videos and keeping up to date on all of my uh, content so uh, once again this is a video tutorial on how to install Windows Longhorn build 4081 thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video